हरे कृष्णा प्रेजेंटिंग यू दी वन हंड्रेड एंड एट इम्पॉर्टेंट वर्सेज फ्रॉम भगवद गीता एंड हियर इज दी फोर्थ वर्स फ्रॉम दी सीरीज चैप्टर टू वर्स नंबर ट्वेल्व सो लेट्स लुक इन टू द वर्स फर्स्ट नत्व एवा हम जातु नासम नत्वम ने मे जनाधिपा न चैवा न भविष्याम सर्वे वयम अतः परम so now this verse is spoken by krishna and what does it mean so the first line it says natva evaham jatu nasham so jatu means at any time and na asam or aham na asam which means when i did not exist so basically here it is said that there was no time when i did not exist who is i the speaker of bhagavad gita lord shri krishna the second line नत्वम ने मे जनाधिपा न त्वम त्वम मीन्स यू सो नॉर वॉज देर अ टाइम वेन यू डिड नॉट एग्जिस्ट एंड ने मे जनाधिपा सो जनाधिपा रेफर्स टू ऑल द किंग्स एंड नॉट नॉट ए मे ऑल दीज सो देर वॉज नो टाइम वेन यू डिड नॉट एग्जिस्ट एंड वेन ऑल दीज किंग्स डिड नॉट एग्जिस्ट न चैवा न भविष्या न cha eva which means certainly there is not going to be any such time bhavishyamah exist bhavish is future so even in the future certainly there is no such time sarve vayam atah param sarve vayam means all of us and atah param cease to exist so basically first line said that there was no time when krishna was not present second line said that there was no time when arjuna was not present or all these kings were not present and then krishna is going into the bhavishya in the future and he is saying that even in the future none of us will cease to exist so the translation of this verse is never was there a time when i did not exist nor you nor all these kings nor in the future shall any of us cease to be so now this is an answer to arjuna's question arjun was doubtful that what will happen to all my relatives after i kill him kill them because he is standing at the battlefield and he may be or rather he is expected to kill his opponents so what would happen to them will they all die and will i be the cause of their death and would i have to occur all these sinful reactions and in that situation how will i be happy krishna so that was the doubt which arjun which was going on in arjuna's mind now if there is any death which happens like if a person whom i die uh, whom i love dies and then the body is still there and yet i am lamenting i may be feeling sad i may be crying and weeping so now if the body is still there and yet i get that feeling that the person whom i love my loved one has gone so then who is the object of my affection the body or something which is beyond the body which i am not able to see so this is what krishna is highlighting here that we all are souls and even if the body dies the soul does not die so krishna is telling here all of us are eternal because in the past we existed arjun you existed i existed all these kings innumerable kings had gathered there and all these kings existed in the past and in the future also they will exist because he is saying bhavishyama even in future there would be no time when they will cease to exist so all of us basically are eternal so this is a very important message which is coming out from this verse about the eternality of the living beings then eternally we are persons now this is the second learning from this shloka because krishna is telling that in the past we were all individuals like you were a separate person arjun these kings were all different people and they were existing and i was another person and i was also existing now i am existing you are there and so many kings are there future also it will continue which means that eternally we are persons we are not like we don't come together and merge into each other we maintain our individuality so this is the learning that i do not dissolve in the universe is not that i become enlightened i attain perfection i attain liberation and then i dissolve in the universe so i do not dissolve 
nobody dissolves in the universe moreover i do not merge and lose my identity each one of us maintain our own specific individual identity so this verse is talking about one eternality of the soul and second that how we are all person how we all maintain our own identities furthermore personality isn't lost after attaining enlightenment so even if we attain enlightenment even if we become perfect even if we attain liberation even if we go to the kingdom of god still we maintain our own personality we don't become one or we don't become god ourselves at any point of time we are all souls his eternal parts as he is a person so are we so all of us are though i mean this is very tricky and uh, different spiritual mathematics here that though we are all his parts yet we are individual parts and he is a person and we are also person he maintains his individuality i maintain my individuality there are innumerable eternal souls one among them is special there are many conscious being one among them is special so who is this special soul who is eternal and who is conscious so that special soul that one special being is krishna and krishna is maintaining all others so we all are living entities and so is krishna and krishna is the one who's a super soul so the difference between soul and super soul is he is the one who is maintaining us who's protecting us who's providing us who's nurturing us who's giving his shelter and we are all under his shelter so thank you all very much for joining today's session we will continue the series hare krishna